Can you get pregnant if sperm leaks out of your vagina every time you finish having sexual intercourse? If you are new to my channel, I am Dr. Amarachi Ijema. I am a fertility physician and my channel focuses on everything in fertility and women's health. So if this is the kind of content you're interested in, keep watching. Firstly, it is important to know that during sexual intercourse, what a man ejaculates is semen. So that milkish colored fluid that you see during sexual intercourse, immediately the man ejaculates, is the semen. The semen contains liquid and sperm cells. So inside the liquid you're seeing are millions of sperm cells, but you cannot see the sperm cells. Meanwhile, these sperm cells in a healthy ejaculate contains 15, at least 15 to 20 million sperm cells. And this is missing at least, that is a minimum of 15 to 20 million sperm cells. Meaning that in one ejaculate, we can still have hundreds of millions of sperm cells in one ejaculate, in that one ejaculate. So when a man ejaculates, he ejaculates inside the vagina, very close to the cervix. That's what we call the vaginal fornix. And immediately he ejaculates, some sperm cells have gone into the uterus. Immediately, within seconds to minutes, a lot, millions have gone into the uterus. Some will take minutes to get into the uterus, some will take hours. But the healthiest sperm cells have gone within seconds to minutes into the uterus. So the ones that have gone into the uterus are the healthiest, fastest, normal shaped sperm cells. So because we only require one sperm cell to fertilize an egg, it's usually a case of may the best sperm win. So when next you're having sexual intercourse and the man ejaculates inside of you, just think about the fact that there is a case of may the best sperm win going on down there. After all this struggle, it's only a few dozen that will get into the fallopian tube and only one sperm that will fertilize the egg. Meanwhile, still in the cervix, you have the liquid parts, which is the semen, trickling out of your vagina alongside tens of thousands of sperm cells, even hundred thousands of sperm cells. And depending on how much sperm cells was ejaculated inside you, even millions will trickle out of your vagina. And the reason being that millions have already gone in. The healthiest ones have already gone in. But you see those ones that because of the acidic environment of the vagina or because of the sperm itself may be abnormal shape, it has two heads, two tails, or it doesn't have the ability to swim as fast as it's supposed to, to be able to join the competition of sperms that are going on that journey to get the egg, to fertilize the egg. So those are the ones that will join the liquid part of the semen to leave your vagina, to leak out of your vagina. And that is okay. It is normal for sperm to trickle out of your vagina onto your thighs after sexual intercourse. So to answer the question of today's title, you can get pregnant even when sperm trickles out of your vagina after sexual intercourse because the best ones have already gone into your vagina into your cervix, into your uterus, into your fallopian tube. In fact, has fertilized your egg already. So there are some factors that influence the amount of leakage after sexual intercourse. One, the amount of semen released in that ejaculate. So if the volume is large, if the amount is much, then the amount of leakage you see after sexual intercourse compared to the amount you will see if the volume of the ejaculate is small will be different so if you have sexual intercourse today and the man ejaculates a large volume of semen then you would expect to see a large volume of leakage after sexual intercourse because the liquid part of the ejaculate will still come out of your vagina and if tomorrow or that same day really you have sexual intercourse again and the volume of the ejaculate is smaller then the amount of leakage you will see will be relatively smaller compared to the amount of leakage you saw when the volume of ejaculate was much was bigger also i must add that it is normal for you to experience this leakage for minutes to hours in a day for some people more than a day so before I give my last point, I need you to understand that you don't need to lie down 
for 30 minutes or 5 minutes or 10 minutes immediately after sex because you want all of the sperm cells to go into your vagina nah you really don't need to do that like the point i've made multiple times in this short video the sperm cells the healthiest ones have swum all the way in minutes into the uterus and then the fallopian tube after ejaculation so after sexual intercourse feel free to stand up and go about your daily activity if you want to you know but just note that the extra lying down or raising your legs up in the air or using a pillow to prop yourself up like elevate your pelvis your hips raise your legs you know and all of that is really not necessary lastly it is okay to pee immediately after sex in fact it is advisable because it helps to prevent urinary tract infection note that Urinating immediately after sex is not going to flush out the sperm from your vagina. They are separate holes. The hole that the pee is coming out from is different from the hole that the sperm entered. And you know what they say, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. So what happens in one hole, in one entrance, stays in that entrance. It doesn't affect what is going on in the other entrance. So it is completely normal and even advisable to urinate immediately after sex. If you found this video informative and you want more videos like this, subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment in the comment section if you have questions and see you in my next video.